Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin in Tucson, Arizona, where we have a brick and mortar store and we're happy to entertain you on YouTube. And today we're going to talk about stickering. So not CAC, not Eagle Eye, and uh, possibly not even identifiable. But the habit, the use of stickers on old coins and what they meant. Here's sticker dollar. Well, this one is going to be a mystery, but I'm going to tell you there's going to be something that's kind of interesting about these off and on. Why something was stickered or not stickered? Sometimes we know and other times we don't. So stickers could have been used on coins just as a marker so that people knew that the coins would be, uh, that the coins had been circulated a certain place, or they could have been used, like in the case of these two dollars here, basically as a coupon or a ticket, automatic, $5. So, or as a winner. So there's so many different uses for these. So automatic $5, this could have been from a casino when they were kicking out dollar coins still that were silver, when they were still just worth a dollar, and you could automatically win five bucks. That could be the use of that. But oftentimes what they were used for is uh, something like a trade token, a good for token. This one says Lady Luck Casino Saloon, $4. So here you go. This one you can actually get the name of the casino. And you can see that uh, it was a $4 chip. So this could have been used as, once again, if this was maybe a winner, like if you get this, you actually win four dollars or could have been used as a four dollar bill. Some of them are uh, really interesting because don't trust me with strangers keep me home. Anna Cortez American. This is a boomerang dollar if it's spent at home. Anna Cortez American. So this is fascinating because I don't know what Anna Cortez American is. There is a, a, a newspaper uh, out east that this could be uh, could have been a promotion from but also these two stickers are promoting savings right don't trust me with strangers keep me at home uh, this is a boomerang dollar if it's spent at home if it just stays home so actually um, what's interesting is this sounds very basic right keep me home uh, spent at home so these also could be references to not doing business overseas versus doing business at home. That's actually, I think, probably what the message is. Think it might be from a newspaper. And uh, some of these, oh, these, these get interesting and interestinger and interestinger. This is the only one that I happen to have on a half dollar. And so some of you will be able to find these from a state near you. If you have interest in these type of things, just search for the name of your city or state on eBay and you'll find all kinds of wild stuff. So uh, Coca bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Troll. Sin. This has a lot of messages to it. Coca bottle sin troll. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm assuming that the uh, other half of this word here, that doesn't look like it's going to move anywhere, would have been Coca-Cola bottling company. I don't know what the uh, rest of it is. Some of you can fill me in. You're going to look at those letters and you're going to know exactly like what city state that is, but I don't. Here's a fun advertising token, coin, sticker, and we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, whether something makes the grade or not. It's just on here. Unfortunately, it looks like someone was trying to get to the date when they tore the bottom half of this one off, but this is also very cool. We got Nevada. You got Pinky's Lodge. Now, it just says Inky's Lodge, but this says Pinky's Lodge. I'm going to assume that they knew what they're talking about. Uh, on Topaz Lake, Motel Bar, fine and something. It's good. That's actually a 22S, which isn't too surprising for a coin that was over in uh, Nevada, actually. Would have been cooler if it was a CC. 
This is a coal dollar. This one might be my favorite. I mean, this is a coal dollar uh, once again. So getting back to this dotted one here, you know, there's a story that $2 bills were, uh, you know, sailors were paid in $2 bills so that the entire community could see how much of an impact uh, the business had in the community. So what would happen is uh, you would go and, as an example, if all the miners got paid in silver dollars with the sticker on them, this is a coal dollar. Then as it got spent around the town, everybody would see, well, this is a, an obvious economic impact. Have you ever heard a news article or seen something where they're like, well, we're going to go ahead and, you know, this, this, we're going to sign this lease and this 400 quadrillion dollar project is coming to town and we're going to go ahead and so it's going to have an $18 billion impact to the economy. But, you know, it's just a bunch of numbers and gobbledygook. So this was actually a real way to do that so that people could actually look and see. Uh, and so to me, this actually makes a lot more sense than reading the newspaper and all their things that they talk about the impact. Well, you could see the impact as those things circulated around you. You'll see a lot of these are on peace dollars, and I think a lot of them are actually going to be from probably that just pre-World War II, post-World War I era. I came from the drunkard. <laughs> this is fascinating to me. I came from the drunkard. Cutia City Theater, East Camelback and 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona. So I am not in Phoenix. I'm in Tucson. And uh, I do know Phoenix a little bit, but I will say uh, I don't know the Quidia City Theater. I keep wanting to say that it says Cuidado, but it does not. Fascinating. All right, and so I think probably to me the one that's would be considered the most valuable. I think most of these will throw on eBay. Uh, so this one also takes some interpretation. And it was a souvenir, and the high points wore off where the Eagles' high points are. The world's largest, I think it says mining area, Leadville, I'm Leadville Silver. So once again, showing the impact on the community, altitude 10,200 feet. I think that probably says skiing and lodging. Leadville, Colorado unless you know of an Advil Lorado, but uh, <laughs> Leadville, Colorado, what a cool piece of history that is for Leadville and for Colorado in general. And maybe y'all up in Leadville, you know, or in Colorado have seen thousands of these, but I find it to be a really neat piece. So you've got mining history, you've got politics, you've got gambling and drunkenness, all of the fun things in life. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.